Zimbabwe 2018 elections, who is Nelson Chamiza. His ability to connect with the aspirations of people in Zimbabwe has made him draw crowds, MDCT National Youth League Secretary General Lovin Morchinapatsa says of his party leader Nelson Chamiza. He is making us as a people reimagine a better and prosperous Zimbabwe and is making us as young people dream big. Chinapatsa says after years of stagnant and boring politics, Chamiza has risen to the occasion by offering a simple and smart message that we can do it as Zimbabweans. On Monday, Zimbabweans will choose between Chamiza and Zanu PF Semerson and Gagwa in the country's first presidential election of the post Mugabe era. Ngagwa took power in a bloodless military coup in November. Chamiza rose to prominence after the death of veteran MDC leader and trade unionist Morgan Tsvangirai on Valentine's Day this year. Political commentator and analyst Blessing Vava says the huge turnouts at the rallies are a result of Chamiza's charisma, oratory skills, youth and the fact that he is leading the main opposition movement for democratic change It's Vangirai, MDCT. In fact, Chamiza has been involved in politics for half his life, having served as the Secretary General of the Zimbabwe National Students Union between 1999 and 2001. He was born at Silvera Mission Hospital in Bikita, Masvingo Province, on February 2, 1978, to Alice and Sylvanus Chamiza. Having enrolled at Harare Polytechnic College in 1998 for a national diploma in marketing management, his eloquence saw him elected as Harare Polytechnic College Students Representative Council President in the same year, only to be expelled the following year after leading several campus protests. By the time he was 20, he was an active member of the Christian Union, Marketing Students Association and the International Socialist Organization. Chamiza holds a BBA Marketing Degree IMM, South Africa, BSc Honours Political Science, University of Zimbabwe, Masters in International Relations and Diplomacy. University of Zimbabwe, Governance and Development Studies, Stanford University in California, USA. BLL Law, University of Zimbabwe, and a degree in Theology from Living Waters Bible College, Zimbabwe. The MDC Alliance presidential candidate went to Vumba Primary in Ghouta between 1984 and 1990, before going to Allied Mission Reform High and Victoria High Schools. He married Saifa Kozile on April 10, 2010, and the couple have a son, Ashley in his yet-to-be-published book, Who is Who? Zena Zalida's 1997-2008. Vava writes that Chamiza's greatest inspiration were the students of Yugoslavia, who overthrew their country's dictator, Slobodan Milosevic. As he, Chamiza, puts it, the quest for justice, academic freedom and the need for yearning for freedom made him join student politics. One of the incidents he clearly remembers was when he resisted a move by the then college principal, Shivanda, to ban hostile visits after the stipulated time, Vava writes. Together with other SRC members, namely Secretary General Godfrey Costa, Innocent Mupara, Darlington Madzonga and Philip Passirei, they organized a number of demonstrations against Chivanda's authoritarian administration and privatization. It was when he was at Harare Poly that Chamiza recruited and oriented a group of vibrant and conscious cadres that assumed the name Polymilinj. Its main role mainly was to mobilize students for demonstrations. Vava recalled that the Harare Poly graduation ceremony of 1998 marked a key moment in Chamiza's political career. As the union president, he had been barred from speaking at the event but proceeded to do so, to dramatic effect. Chamiza forcibly grabbed the microphone from the guest of honor, then higher education minister, Dr. Ignatius Chombo, and addressed the gathering in the full glare of CIOs, Central Intelligence Organization operatives, 
and police officers at the event. Graduates started whistling and singing revolutionary songs. As this happened, six riot police officers grabbed and arrested the student leader before bundling him into a police Santana vehicle. Before the police could drive off, scores of the graduating students left their seats, surrounded the vehicle. They threatened to set it alight and demanded the police let Chamisa go. A few minutes later, the police released him. This was followed by violent clashes between the students and the police. The violent clashes resulted in Chamisa being expelled, which he challenged successfully in the High Court. He was represented pro bono by Tawanda Hondura and his current MDC Alliance partner Tendai Bitti. Chamisa has survived two attempts on his life. In 1999, a suspected CIO detail driving a Puget 504 vehicle hit Chamisa inside Harare Poly campus, and the resulting injury forced him to walk with crutches for some time. Then in March 2007, he was attacked by suspected intelligence operatives at Robert Gabriel Mugabe International Airport, then Harare International Airport, on his way to Brussels. I was suddenly surrounded by, I think, about eight men, he said later. One wore a green t-shirt. The other ones had suits. Then I was hit, I think about three times. Then I fell to the ground. Chamisa said he saw his attackers running off towards two vehicles without registration plates. Some women came to me and started to help me. They used a handkerchief to try and to stop the blood. It was gushing out, he said. Chamisa was left with a fractured skull and admitted into hospital. In the run-up to the June 27, 2000 presidential runoff election, he was the only MDC leader to stay in the country. This was at the height of political violence when the whole MDC leadership, including its president Morgan Tsvangai Rai, left the country fearing for his life, Vava writes. Chamisa became the lawmaker for Kuadzana East in 2003 after the death of Learn More Jong, a seat he has ever since. He says one of his greatest strengths is being consistent and remaining resolute. I will never regret the threats and attempts on my life. I regard all these challenges as symbols of the sacrifices I have made, he once said. In 2005, he was appointed the party's spokesperson, becoming MDCT National Organizing Secretary in 2011, until his appointment as co-vice president on July 15, 2016. Between 2009 and 2013, he was appointed Information and Communications Technology Minister in Mugabe's Government of National Union, with the latter describing him as my supersonic minister. During the MDCT National Congress held in November 2014, Chamisa lost influence in the party and was reduced to an ordinary card-carrying member. This came after he was linked to the Mugabe family business with some claiming that he was transporting their products from Gushhunga Dairy Farm in Masau. But two years later Chamisa was hand-picked by Tsvangai Rai to become one of his three deputies at the helm of the party, along with Elias Mudzari and Tho Kozani Kup.